Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bitcoin Rush episode number 15. Today we are reporting on Coinbase, the new announcement. Safe Asset Index, a very interesting mathematical site. BTC China, a new iOS mobile application. Bitcoin Venezuela, the escape of limits. The Open Minute with Theo Gutman, the maker of Sound Wallet, very interesting. And eBay getting ready to adopt Bitcoin. Coinbase announced this Monday it has acquired the popular block explorer service Blocker.io. The cryptocurrency related service is described by Coinbase as a tool that passes the Bitcoin blockchain and presents the data to users in an easy to read way while making the most of its sleek intuitive design and API. As Coinbase continues to grow, they are always keeping an eye out for other companies and individuals making waves in digital currency and helping make Bitcoin easy to use. So Coinbase by its own most recent block. Blocker matches perfectly all those requirements. Coinbase wants to continue to make the Coinbase API the premier tool for developers who want to build on top of Bitcoin. And they will also work on building out Coinbase's own Bitcoin node. And by the way, the acquisition does not change the way Blocker operates as the service will keep working as usual. Lots of interesting developments are coming up in the second half of 2014. Have you ever heard of Safe Asset Index or SAI? They are working on the mathematical side of the project right now. What they want to do is help to prove the correctness of Austrian economics. If the safe asset index proves to be correct, the value of the index increases compared to the US dollar, then Austrian economics will further be validated. They term an asset as safe based on traditional free market investment strategies and mesh those beliefs with current modern views. They emphasize modern views because things have changed in the last few years. With the adoption of Bitcoin and other peer-to-peer -peer currencies, the Austrian school seems to have split down the middle, deciding on if they are in favor of cryptos. Including in the index are assets such as precious metals, cryptocurrencies, commodities such as oil, natural gas, corn, etc. and a mix of other super cool assets that they won't release until the safe asset index is live. They are formulating the weighted value of each commodity compared to the combined nominal value of the asset as a whole. The result will be a mind-blowing SAI index value comparable to fiat currencies. The SAI will automatically refresh every five minutes and show Austrian economics working in real time. They will use the SAI to compare Austrian economics in a nominal form to that of Canadian fluff. Yeah, fluff! If the value of the SAI increases compared to fiat, that will be evidence of a devaluation of the fiat and the strengthening of individual members of the SAI. 
They are seeking active contributors to keep the index running and have it to be the most up-to-date as possible. And they will be glad that you've decided to join them in the noble cause of spreading Austrian economics. Very cool. Check out jacksonwoodhq.com. It is certainly refreshing to see the coming of all sorts of Bitcoin related apps to the iOS mobile platform. Bitcoin traders in China will be pleased to know yet another one is available. It's BTC China's official application and it's available for download internationally right now. I'm leaving the link below. As to expect from a trading application, the mobile interface allows traders to buy and sell their bitcoins, but also view orders, charts and so forth. Also, the exchange continues with their ambitious plans to expand. Already, there is a new app awaiting approval from Apple called Picasso. Picasso isn't quite the trader's application, rather it's aimed to the traditional consumer who happens to have an interest in Bitcoin. In essence, it's a wallet and users are able to sell Bitcoin at their leisure as if it were a mini ATM in the palm of their hands. At one point, BTC China was the largest Bitcoin exchange in the world. It still remains a top trading platform, particularly in China, but plans to expand internationally. BitcoinVenezuela.com is an information site and market price reference for Venezuelan Bolivar, the nation's feared currency. It is the only site showing current and historical prices for Bitcoin, Litecoin, Mastercoin in the real market price that is traded inside the country due to the money control imposed by the government. Bitcoin Venezuela has been the starting point for thousands of Venezuelans willing to learn about Bitcoin and how to start using it to escape the limits that affects the exchange of US dollar and other foreign currencies. The reference price shown has an API that any website or application can use to display the current and historical prices of Bitcoin in Venezuelan Bolivar. During the protest that took place in the country since February 2014, Bitcoin Venezuela runs many campaigns to create awareness of the situation and a crowdfunding to help spread the word, both inside and outside the country, about what was really happening. Talks and classes about liberty, Bitcoin and money freedom has been supported in many ways by Bitcoin Venezuela. It is currently looking for support from the community to make the site more useful for Venezuelan users. So please visit bitcoinvenezuela.com and if you can, please contact them for your support at twitter.com slash btcvin. And by the way, Venezuela's first ever Bitcoin exchange is open for business and gathering clients. Sua Bitcoin is an online platform that allows Venezuelans to buy and sell Bitcoins instantaneously with the nation's fiat currency. Here we go. Bitcoin does not stop. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Open Minute. Today we are having Theo Goodman. Theo Goodman is operating the site called SoundWallet.net. SoundWallet, a private key in audio form, cold storage meets sound. 
These are records which have encrypted private keys on them. You then play the audio and with use of a spectroscope you can see your private key. You could also have the private key on a CD, magnetic tape or virtually any other audio format. Why? Cold storage is the safest way to secure your crypto coins. For long-term cold storage, records will last longer than any USB stick, memory card or ink on a paper wallet. Records are the ultimate archive format. You can add the record to your record crate, put it in a frame and hang it on your wall or store it simply in your safe. Let's hear what Theo has to tell us today. Hi, I'm Theo Goodman. How long will that USB stick, flash drive or hard drive with your keys on it last? Sound Wallet is a way to turn your private key into audio. You can then store this audio on CDs, cassette tapes or vinyl records. A vinyl record will last much longer than any flash storage, ink on your paper wallet or any CPU. If you were looking for someone's private key, where would you look? A USB stick, hard drive, or a vinyl record? You could add the sound wallet record to the cr your crate of records, frame it, hang it on the wall, or play it at the next party. You can read back your key using a spectroscope, a spectroscope app on your phone or computer. At soundwallet.net, I've outlined how you can create your own sound wallet. Thanks for listening. Bitcoin is set to be adopted by several companies this year, most notably eBay. E-commerce giant eBay Inc. is very close to offering Bitcoin payments as an option via its Braintree subsidiary, a high-profile move that will mark another milestone on the road to mass adoption of the digital currency. eBay Inc. has been quietly working to integrate acceptance of the virtual currency into its Braintree payment subsidiary, part of its PayPal unit. This will represent a major victory for Bitcoin as it seeks to expand its consumer base and a clear step of progress for the virtual currency. Braintree is a merchant payment system owned by eBay, Airbnb, Uber and many other companies use Braintree services according to eBay's website. And Mr. Donahue, CEO of eBay said, I think there is no doubt digital currency is going to play an important role going forward and at PayPal we are going to have to integrate digital currencies into our wallet. He didn't give a specific start date but said that Bitcoin will be integrated into eBay and PayPal services, starting with peer-to-peer -peer transactions and international transactions as well. And my guess is that merchants on eBay will be able to accept payments in Bitcoin very soon. And Mr. Danahu added that he thinks the underlying theme is that a digital currency is something they are aware of and something they are going to integrate. Congratulations eBay for jumping on board soon. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today. Please visit Bitcoin Rush on Twitter at Bitcoin underscore Rush. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Eyes open, no fear. Thank you.